these are instructions for the assembly of my jungle themed baby pop-up card. Our base piece has a score line in the middle of our the larger piece and then a score line at the top of the smaller piece which gets adhered to the larger piece but at the back. We're just going to put glue on that tab at the top. I'm going to fit it behind. Make sure that it folds up nicely. I'm just going to start folding this panel. This piece you have a square at the top. You just want to fold that square upward. And then you have the middle piece. Now you want the edge piece to fold in a valley, so fold downwards. Both these edge pieces fold downwards. So you want to fold this piece up. I'm just sliding my bone folder. You could use a ruler and just pinching on those score lines just to mark them. It makes it a little bit easier because what you want to do now is just fold those forwards. And as you're folding this forwards, you want these top lines to fold as well. Like so. And that's what your clothes card looks like. I have this rectangle with the three parts, two score lines. You want to fold down on both score lines. I'm just putting glue between the score line and the end of one of those end rectangles, gluing it down to that top square. So I'm just putting glue on the edge of this piece and then on the edge of these two pieces. I'm tucking this downwards and then I'm folding it flat and that will create my little box shapes. The thing I'm going to decorate are my little blocks. So for all these letters I'm just going to put glue on the back of the frame piece. I'll glue down my frame. I'm going to leave an even border around the edges and then I'm going to take my letter glue on the back of the letter. I'm going to center it as best I can so that there's an even distance between the edges of the letter all around. And I'm going to do that for all of my letter pieces. Now that I've glued my letters on the squares for my little blocks, um, so I've glued my little block pieces down. I'm just going to glue my decorative layer down to the base like so. So I have my bottom layer. Word of caution, when you're gluing down your layers, make sure that edges follow the curves. My pieces aren't symmetrical, so this is the right side of your paper. If you should happen to flip it over accidentally, it won't follow the lines of your card. So you have to be very careful that you are gluing them on. So now we're going to glue down our little block piece to our card base. I want to make sure there's an even border on both sides. I'm folding down this piece and putting glue all along the back of it. And I'm putting glue on the back of this piece as well. I'm making sure that my card is in the proper position so that it's, there's an even border on both sides of it. That it's up against the score line. And then you want to close your card. And then you want to open your card up again. You want to put glue on the rest of the panel and then fold your card down. And next I'm just going to glue down these panels. Next I have my little congratulations sign. So this piece has a little bit of a bump out on the lower right hand side. So you want to make sure that you're putting your layers with a little bump out on the right hand side like so. So I'm just going to glue them down like that. I forgot to mention, my sign is two layers of Cricut cardstock, one layer of print and cut that picks up on the images that I've used on the base paper. Then I use some adhesive vinyl for the sentiment, which I'm going to put up here. So I'm just going to adhere my little monkeys to their shadow layer. I put a, an extra layer to them because I wanted them to be a little bit thicker, more sturdy. So I've used a little bit of foam tape just to give a little bit of dimension to my sentiment. I'm going to bring it down just a little to the edge of the leaves like so. And then I have my branch with my little monkeys. I could have cut the leaves out of cardstock but I decided to cut them out of adhesive vinyl just because it's they're very small pieces and it's easier for me to apply. I'm positioning my little monkeys so that they're hanging from that branch from their little tails like so. And I want my little monkeys hanging from either side of the blocks like that. So I'm going to put glue on the back of this entire piece and I'm just going to position it so my monkeys are hiding, are hanging from their little branch. Congratulations. It's a little bit obstructed, but 
I think it's fine. So next we're going to work on the pop-up crib. This is the piece for my crib. You just want to fold down on all the tabs. I've got this tab, this tab, this tab. I'm just going to put glue on the tab that's at the side. And I'm just going to lay my crib flat on my mat and fold on the sides that score line. And that will give me my crib. These pieces fold under. Now I can take my decorative pieces, glue them into place. So I'm just gluing them down so that you can't see the bottom layer between the slats. There's a tiny border on all three sides. And I'm just going to glue all four pieces down just like that. So once I've put the decorative panels on the outside of my crib, I'm just going to flatten my crib down so that the two tabs are lying on top of one another, like so. And then I'm going to position this piece so that that angle where those tabs are have to be exactly against the score line. And so if it's against the score line, when it pops up, it'll be approximately here. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. I want it to be about there. Now one thing I want to take into consideration here, I want to have enough room to place my little mobile. I have one of my pieces of my mobile just as a measure, and I want to make sure that everything fits in within the confines of the card. You want to make sure that the angled cut of this tab is just against the score line like so. We're just going to put the glue on that side of that tab and fold up that piece. So I'm going to open my flap and keeping my crib nice and flat, I'm just going to put glue on the other side of that tab. And I'm shutting my card again and I'm putting pressure exactly over where that tab is so that it sticks down to the base of my card. Now I have all my little mobile pieces. I wanted my mobile to be nice and sturdy. I have two large pieces and then I have two smaller pieces. The large pieces are going to go inside and sandwiched between my two outer pieces. Now my two outer pieces I've used adhesive vinyl and I've decorated the extended part. So I have all layers of my mobile glued together. I'm closing that flap, that bottom flap of my card, and I want to position it so that it's on the edge of my crib, but that it also fits into my card when my card is folded down. I'm taking a little look at where that positioning would be. Because of where I've put my crib, and it could be very different for you, but because of where I've put my crib, it fits approximately there. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue, adhering it to the side. And just making sure that it fits nicely. Then I have my three little animals for my bottom piece and I've made shadow layers for each one. I'm gluing all three to their base layers and then I'm just going to glue them down. I've left a blank space here. This is going to be reserved for the names of the parents. So that's the interior of my card done. So for the bottom piece, you have to make sure that the decorative layers follow the curves of the base piece. Like so, these pieces are not symmetrical so if you put them backwards it really shows. When you're putting down your pattern paper be mindful of the fact that this this way points upwards on your image. And then we're going to close the card and we're going to do this is the back center and I'm just going to glue these two panels down. There's my bottom panel and this is my cover. Because it opens this way you want your little image to be on top like this. I'm just going to glue down the matte layers on the cover of my card. Okay, so next I'm just gluing down the layers for my image. I have my base layer, and then the larger layer with the smaller circle, and then I have the smaller layer with the larger circle so that it forms a little frame. And then I'm just going to position and glue down my little elephants inside, and then this will get adhered to the top of my card. And I'll glue all of this down like so. And next, because this is a card that will be passed around uh, in an office environment to be signed by many different people, I've created a little booklet to put at the back of the card. My booklet is basically a rectangle with a score line and two holes along the score line, and then two smaller pieces that I've inserted as pages for my booklet. And I'm just taking some embroidery floss and 
for me it's easier to do this with a needle. Inserting my thread along the binding, creating my knot. I'm using my reverse tweezers to help me tie my knot and form my bow. I'm just cutting off the excess. This book that goes into this pocket that I'm going to insert on the back of the card has a semicircle cut out of it and it's got score lines on three edges that I've just folded downwards. I want to be able to retract my booklet from this side. As I'm holding my card, I want this piece to fit like so on top of my card. So with the seams like this and semicircle on the right hand side. So I'm just holding my piece approximately where I want it and flipping my card over. So I'm just going to put glue on my three tabs and I'm going to position my square like so. With my bone folder I'm just pushing down, make sure they adhere properly and my little booklet will fit inside. So I'm just going to add a little giraffe right here on my crib. 